we've finally launched the Stack Store. You can now choose from a curated selection from over 25 local and overseas brands. Visit the Stack Store now and use this code to enjoy free shipping for the first week. We like this building and the neighborhood here because of the greenery and also we find it less busy compared to other places. And also this building is quite old so it has the kind of quaint vibe to it which we really like about it. Hi, my name is Wen Yu. Hello, I'm Chun. We both run a business called Potter's Table. It's a private dining. And also we have a ceramic studio called Unnatural. This is a workout apartment with 921 square feet. When we came to this house, we really liked it because the room is more square and there's no dead end like weird corners and the balcony is very big, which is really attractive. When we first came to the house, we saw the air ventilation hole on the windows and it's very nice. I think we really like the overall look of the house. Old doors and also the window, the kind of flip window compared to the more modern type. I think that's what catches the most. For our living room, actually we turn the whole space into a dining room because that's a very important room for us, for the private dining business. And we have a very strong focus on lighting because we think light when you dine is very important. That's why we have a main hanging light in the center and then a very weak spotlight to the walls to lead up ambience. We brought a lot of uh, old furniture from the old house. And also some of the furniture in the dining area is actually made by us because we want to customize the size. Because we don't have a living room, so we transform our balcony into our living space. We put two sofa armchairs at the balcony so we can rest there. And also, a balcony for us is a garden because we want to utilize the sunlight and grow the herbs that we use in our paradigm. We would like to keep our bedroom simple. In order to do that, we put like a rattan chair. Because we don't rest in the dining room, we either rest at the balcony or the bedroom that like can lie on the rattan chair. We also managed to bring our favorite bed frame. It has a very nice vintage features, like the mirrors behind the backing of the bed, which we find very attractive and almost impossible to find nowadays. We have a ceramic studio called Air Natural, which we started six years ago. We are lucky to have a very big space for the pottery. It's bigger than our bedroom. We need a very big space for the ventilation and also making of the pottery. We fully utilize the room, put a lot of shelves because we need them for drying the clay. And also we have space to put a big table in the center of the room so that we can do some hand building works in ceramic. We are able to make uh, put a small kiln at the corner of the room. At Potter's Table, we have a uh, focus on native ingredients from Southeast Asia. And also we want to introduce more Southeast Asian flavors in a more modern technique. Sometimes we have like fusion elements inside our cooking as well. For the ingredients that we use at Potter's Table, some of them are tom grown. For our private dining, because it's only two of us, both of us has to be in the kitchen. We also try to utilize the vertical space because it's not very big. It's a compact kitchen and also we have a lot of equipment. We use shelves to put all the stuff. And also at the back, we actually have a service yard. For the service yard, we use it for cooking things like stir fry and all the gas cooking. We started Porter's Table, our private dining, because we want to showcase our ceramic work during the private dining session. We use tableware that are by ourselves. I think that's a very important experience for the guests because very rarely you get the dinnerware that's made by the cook who cook for you at the same time. That's the experience we want to create. I think all the guests who come to our private dining find it interesting that because we live here, 
one thing we really enjoy hearing from the guests is that sometimes they will tell us they love the space we're living in or they love the food or they love our sharing about our goal in our life is to have an ecotourism business in the off-grid places. I think that's very important for us as a private dining home cook because we are really happy that the guests enjoy their time in our space. Thanks for staying till the end. Now, if you like what you've just seen, do subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you get updates whenever a new video pops out. And if you'd like to have your home featured, feel free to drop us an email at hello at stackthomes.com.